Good morning. I have my coffee here. I hope you're doing well this morning. Uh, I'm going to talk about something that is extremely important to your success, to your well-being, to your overall fulfillment in life. And uh, we often like to, you know, throw around things like we have free will, the freedom to choose. But the ability to choose is limited by the available choices. So what I'm going to talk about today are paradigms. Uh, the video that I just released called Choices, you need to go check it out if you haven't done that already. Um, choices discusses this concept of paradigms, and it's not just a concept. I mean, it's an actual thing. Paradigms are the filter through which we see the world. This affects us in so many different ways. As we go out into the world, our brain is designed to filter out things that are out of alignment with our beliefs, out of alignment with our expectations. And one of the terms that we have for this is a cognitive distortion and it's called confirmation bias. Confirmation bias basically means that we go out into the world and we seek out situations, circumstances, relationships, opportunities that are only congruent with the things that we already believe. Again, it points back to paradigms. Think about the implications of this in your life. For example, if you own, if you have like a, I was talking the other day about being stuck financially. And a lot of the problem there isn't just that we're broke in our bank account, it's that we're broke, our mindset is broke. And you might be this way, or you might know people like this. I know plenty of people like this who, it doesn't matter what it is, if it costs money, I can't afford that. Oh, I'm broke. Oh, I don't have gas money. And it's really a broke mindset. It's what they've always known. It's what they've always experienced. They come from a broke family and now they're broke. So in finances, if you're going out and you're filtering out economic opportunity because all you believe for yourself and all you expect from the world is to be broke, then what is that going to do? That's going to keep you stuck financially. And there's a lot of other things that could support this idea, but I'm just going to stick with that paradigm, that belief that, you know, life is only going to give me enough wages to get by and I'm broke. I don't, I can't afford that. And this mindset will filter out economic opportunities and will keep you and prevent you from abundance and prosperity. Absolutely will. Next, think about in relationships, finding a partner. If all guys are dogs, then you're going to go out and you're going to filter out everything except for the dogs. You're going to filter out the good guys, the good opportunities, because your paradigm, your belief, the filter through which you see relationships is that there are no good ones left. All guys are dogs. Not to mention that a lot of people go to the dog pound and get pissed off because they bring home a dog. It's People, places, and conversation are very important with the results that you're going to get as well. But if you have this idea that all women are blank, all men are blank, some negative adjective, if that's your paradigm, if that's your relationship paradigm, your partner-seeking paradigm, then you're going to go out and you're going to filter everything out except for those things that confirm what you already believe. And then when you do get a partner and they do cheat on you or they do treat you bad or whatever the case may be, then you'll be able to say to yourself, see, I knew it. See, I told you. But you created that filter in the that situation in the first place with your paradigm, your filter, your belief about relationships and about potential partners in the first place. If you find yourself saying things like, oh, that's just my luck, or why does this always happen to me? Man, it's easy to spot those people. Um, and I will usually unfollow them, honestly. If someone is just constantly complaining and constantly just in perpetual conflict and always unhappy, and one of those people that the dark cloud follows them around and they point, you damn cloud, they don't realize that it's not the damn cloud that's following them around. They have a rope tied to that, and that rope is called paradigm and that's what they believe and expect for their life 
You have to recognize this. If you can recognize these mental barriers, because these things started a long time ago, if you expect that relationships are going to be abusive, chances are you experienced, you witnessed that as a child. You saw your family, your loved ones in abusive relationships, and then you got one. I'll deal, I'll have coaching clients, and we're working through what they think is the problem. And this is what happens 95% of the time. Here's the problem. It's kind of like the perpetual conflict person saying the cloud is the problem. This dark cloud following me. I need you to help me get rid of that cloud or deal with that cloud or cope with that cloud. And then as we talk and as I guide them through the coaching process and we start to take a look at their lives and their paradigms, the way that they see the world, their experiences and where those things began and originated then we all we often find out almost always that it is not the person it's not the cloud it's not the situation it's not the circumstance it's the paradigm so if i could foot stop like crazy right now you have to be able to recognize these thought patterns these filters these beliefs and expectations your paradigms when it comes to the major things in your life because if you're really going to exercise free will then you have to have awareness around other options. You have to have awareness around other options. And I will say this every day, all the time, free will is very uncommon because the available options that we have that are presented to us in life is usually all that people look to choose from. And that's the box, the box that we live, the box that we've, that's been created for us and by us. All the problems that we have, all of the situations and circumstances that we experience that we want to change are inside of that box. If we can recognize that and learn to, well, actually just learn something new. See, that's the thing. A lot of this was learned. Most of it was learned by example. And we need to learn to recognize this. We need to learn to recognize the things that we've inherited from other people. And as I say a lot, you have to question everything. The same thinking that caused the problems isn't going to be the thinking that, that comes up with solutions, right? That's similar to what Einstein said. Or the insanity thing, doing the same thing but expecting a different result. If you want to find solutions to all the problems inside your box, you've got to get outside the box. You've got to look outside the box. You've got to really and truly exercise free will and look at options that you have not already been presented because those options, that way of thinking, the neural pathways that have been grooved into your brain that always lead you to the same thought patterns, the same emotions, and the same resulting behavior and consequences, you've got to get inside, you've got to get outside of those things, create new neural pathways, create new options, look at new solutions outside of your paradigm, outside of the box that you live in. So this is of utmost importance in your life. It doesn't matter what your situation is. I guarantee you that it's very likely connected to some deeply entrenched paradigm that you have in relation to that situation, whether it's finances, opportunities, uh, your abilities, your talents, your relationships, friendships, your potential, whatever it might be, there is a root to that issue and it's attached to your paradigm. I'd love to help you with this, but find someone to help you figure out what that is so you can get unstuck in that area or in those areas of your life. I really hope that you got a lot out of this. This is the key to unlocking more potential in your life, more opportunities in your life, and is just breaking these paradigms, learning something new, recognizing why it is the way it is. And another thing I like to say, just because it's always been this way, doesn't mean that it has to stay this way. So you have the power to change. You have the power to exercise free will. The question is, are you going to do it? Please have a great day. Have a great weekend. Take what you need and leave the rest. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found something of value that you can take and apply to your everyday life. Now be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. 
You can also watch these coffee talks live on my Facebook page three times a week. Just go to Facebook and search for Will and Purpose Coaching and stick around for the credits so you can learn more ways that we can connect. Welcome to the community.